Hi, this is just a quick and requested tutorial about how to tie an opiage. First of all, thank you so much for the request because I have most of those basic tutorials on my list but not scheduled yet or scheduled later. So when you request it, I'm gonna break my own schedule and put it on a little earlier. Like right now, I put it on like maybe a few months earlier than I have ever planned. The obiage is definitely one of the hardest parts. When you start with wearing kimono, I think everybody is overwhelmed with how to tie an obi. But once when you have mastered that, you figure out it's not that hard. And then you always struggle with, oh, hmm, my obi again never looks that neat and nice as it should be. And by the way, I recently received a pamphlet for a kimono exam and the lady on the title had just an awful <laughs> obi again. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I want to show you that even people with a lot of experience in kimono can struggle with the obi again. And even I, <laughs> I think the shape I recently have for my obi -age, it took me like two or three years to master it <laughs> or to find some tricks or collect all tricks you need to have a nice and neat obi -age. And I really think that the obi -age is like the ohashiri, one of those points you can make look your kitsuke super awesome even though it's not really perfect that day. But just with that little point looking perfect, it just looks super perfect in total. Before we get started, a little fun fact about the obi -age, what I found very interesting, is that it's one of the oldest kimono items we have. I always thought that the obi -age came up when the obi makura came up, which is a cushion you put on the back under your obi to give it its shape. But it apparently didn't. They used the obiage like a kind of tie instead of a tie for tying the obi. And we don't use it like that anymore, which is super nice because now an obiage doesn't have that much work anymore, which means they look much nicer for a long time. Okay, let's get started. After tying the obi, you should look like this. First, we'll start with making space for the obiage by pushing all the ties deeply into the space behind the obi. Look how much space we got! Then, reach out to the top edge of the obiage. Make sure that you really really get the top. If you don't, we get this little twist up here and that's really something you want to avoid. Fold the top edge inside for about one third of the obi -age width. Slide with your fingers along the fold until behind your shoulders to fold the obiage neatly. Fold the bottom edge inside again for one third of its original width. When you put four fingers inside and your thumb on top while sliding backwards will help you to fold it nicely to the back. Again, slide until behind your shoulders. Now, fold the right edge of two-thirds of the new width inside to create a pocket. Hold it straight while putting four fingers of your right hand inside and the thumb on top to slide backwards and fold it. Again, slide until behind your shoulders. This should be the outcome. After the right side is done, let it rest on your lower arm. Proceed the same on the left side, just make sure to do all steps reversed right to left. Start with folding the top edge inside.
Then fold the bottom edge inside. And after that, fold the left edge two thirds inside to create a pocket. Lay left over right and tie it. Put the right side upright and straighten it out. Then wrap it once around the knot. This little trick will help you to have a neat top later. Wrap the right side around four fingers of your left hand and hold it with your thumb. Bring the left side to your right, tuck it between pointer and middle finger of your left hand. The top is also tucked between middle finger and pointer of your right hand. Pull the left side through. We have now created this loop. Put both pointers into the loop and move them in circles by pulling the outstanding edges to tighten. Important here is not to tie this too tight to avoid wrinkles on the neat top of the loop. You could now roll up the ends and tuck them behind your OB. And you're done! But what I like even more is to tuck the ends into the pockets we have created earlier. This will give your obiage a more voluminous look. And this is it. Make sure to tag me on Instagram to show me your perfect obiage. I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope that my tricks could help you a little. If you feel like sticking around on my channel, feel free to subscribe. I would be very thankful. And if you're already subscribing, thank you so much for watching all my videos. And I talk to you in my next video. Bye!